product again. It's coming in the fall. I don't want to admit it, but what am I doing? I'm picking choke cherries. Some of those, when I add to some beer I've done in the past, thought it was pretty awesome. I have a couple trees in my backyard and some around here. But the problem, those of you who know what a choke cherry is, and I'll show you later, those of you who don't, they're small, there's not much to them, they're pits, and they're a pain to juice. You can't use a typical juicer because of the pits. You can't use a food processor because of the pits in them. So what's the solution? Well, you're looking at a juicer steamer. And this one's from Norpro. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to unbox this one for you all, show you what's in this one. I don't know if Norpro is better or not. When I was doing this, I was looking for a stainless steel one. This one was glass top. I don't know if I care about that. Some people say they like it, some people they don't. So, as far as Norpro, I have a couple of their products, and overall, I feel they're a decent product. I'm not going to say they're my favorite brand. And this guy was on sale at a local home of economy store for 20 bucks cheaper than what I could find it at Amazon. So, I kind of want to support local and do this. So I'm going to get to this, kind of show you what this thing is, but it's supposed to steam, it's supposed to juice. I don't really care about the steaming function because I do have a steamer, but this one's bigger. So I guess more people would be cool. I'm more interested in the juicing portion of it. And they're claiming how it works. Three steps, easy. Wash fruits or berries, simmer for 40 to 70 minutes, drain, clear juice into bottles or jars. Okay, that's easy. But I'm going to do a second video on this, but I wanted to do an unboxing video. So you are looking for one of these and to see what you got. Maybe there's some other guys and gals out there that got a different brand. I'm sure there are. But like I say, this is a Norpro uh, recipe guide, instructions. Everybody gives you that. And parts order for mail form. Well, that's kind of cool. Peach juice. I'm just going to gather through blueberry juice. Uh, choke cherry juice, nice. 10 pounds of choke cherries. I don't know if I got close to that, um, but yeah, kind of tells you how to do it. Uh, that's cool. So, looking at it, what recipes, what can I do with it? Uh, a bunch of juice fruits. Um, what else? Uh, they tell you what can you do with it juices, jellies, syrups, punch, fruit soups, puddings, and other basic uses. Okay, so the juice may be used for winemaking. That's interesting too, because why? I'm going to try to make some wine. Uh, follow directions and wine books and pamphlets for the use of clear juice. Okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, it's pretty much juice everything and make pulp and puri. A lot easier than the video. I forget what they're called, but the cone shaped thing with the wooden handle. Uh, it's like a Chisholm or something like that. I'm sorry, I know I'm saying it wrong, but if you guys look at my channel, you'll find that. But basically, these guys are for making juice, sauces, can steam with them. I don't know. I'll mess around and probably come up with something else later, too, and what I can do with this thing. So you get a little booklet, um, cleaning instructions. Yeah, remove all stickers. Do not let boil dry. Yeah, do not use on a burner unit larger than pan. Yeah, okay. Get the blah, 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 blah. Um, interesting. Always add salt after preheating water as salt can cause pitting white spots or small. Yeah, but seeing that. Low to medium heat, recommend it. Wash with hot soapy water immediately. For burn food, yeah, nylon scour and don't use anything abrasive. Okay, simple enough like that. Typical stainless steel. So, well, this is a fun box already. So what do we got? Glass. This feels like glass. Typical glass lid. Vent on it. Looks like, I don't know why you can take the handle off, but um, tempered glass, stainless steel. Set that aside. And I don't know how y'all feel about unboxing videos, but I kind of like it when I'm trying to find a new product. I wish some guys I would follow do more, so I'm going to keep doing them. Simple steamer basket. What are the handles looking like? We are looking like they are uh, welded handles. All stainless steel. Um, 
So there's our basket, whatever, steamer basket. Little knobs on the bottom, I guess, might be a nice feature. Uh, get this plastic away. That was the hose that goes on the end of it for juicing. I know I found one that had a valve, but the complaint with the valve was that they claimed it would get hot. Uh, you can buy silicone tubing, so I'm not really too worried about it. And since they do say you can buy parts from them, I didn't know that. So I think that'll be good. Um, that's interesting, the middle pot. Honestly, again, I haven't used one of these. I don't know why that's, well, that's actually, yeah, the middle pot. Because there's your spout for your tube. So, um, obviously the steam comes up through that. Like I say, I haven't done one of these before. That's kind of like I like to do these unboxing videos because you guys don't have one, know one. That's what makes no sense. Have one or seen one, you kind of get the idea of it. Um, made in China, imagine that. But anyhow, looks like a double clad bottom. Stainless steel. Okay, I don't know if it's just double clad or if there's aluminum in there. Usually there is. And encapsulated. I'm liking that I'm seeing that it's double clad because why double clad? Doesn't burn as easy. So. That is that. Let's set this together for you. And I'm going to make this video quick because I'm going to make you another one. And I'm going to actually put this thing in action. So let's see if I even know what I'm doing. Bottom. Yeah. Okay. Juice part. Okay. It goes in there like yay. Um, this is neat. And obviously that sets on there. So what is my theory on this thing? That is almost tight. So how does this thing work? Well, apparently, obviously, we put water in there. Fruit in here. Juice, in theory, is supposed to steam out and drop in here. So I was just doing regular juicing or steaming a vegetable. Bam, we have a nice big steamer. So we have multiple function, like veg steamed vegetables. So. Maybe it might be big enough to steam a couple corn cobs. That's exciting to me. So, I don't know. Maybe more versatile than I was thinking. So, that is all put together like so. Kind of getting more excited now. My tube, my hose. Get that out. I don't know what the elbow is for. I suppose I'm going to have to actually read the directions before I make a fool on myself. Obviously, a, no, it's going to say a pinch clamp, and it did pinch me. So, ironically, a uh, stopper piece. So, that's going to go on like, yay, that ain't no big deal. And my pinch clamp. Should just go on. I'm cheating. I'm looking on what they're showing me. How this is supposed to go on. They're showing it hooked up at the end like that, which is not making any sense to me. So when all else fails, do what? Look at the directions. White's measuring, don't care, assembly. Number four. Okay, hose rubber clamp. Here on the boost. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Okay. So, this is a pinch clamp. There, pinched, happy. Now in theory it shouldn't leak. So why do we have the little round piece on this one? That's all they're doing. Putting it together like that, we put that there. So, just for they gave us a little angle, it's to hook it up basically. So with that said, I don't know. This is gonna go in my basement. So, I might keep the box. I don't know. Um, still kind of like to put things in boxes myself, like to be organized. So pretty simple. Um, so we're going to get going and I want to show you the actual thing and see what I, how I do with this thing. So I'm going to make another video that has actually this thing in action. I'm going to do it today 
but I don't want to clean this as both of as an unboxing video because some people might want to just compare these things. So that's kind of my take on it. Welded handles, all stainless steel, pinch clapping. I'm not really honestly understanding at this point what the quarter is for the, I'll probably figure it out. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it goes on the inside. I don't know. That don't make no sense to me though. Yeah, I guess that. Okay. Yeah, it fits in there. I don't. I don't know the value of that though. Well, anyhow. I'm going to get going with this thing. I'm going to get my choke cherries out and I'm going to come back at you and give you directions for this. But I wanted to do an unboxing video and kind of my initial thoughts of this guy. So let's give you a rundown. Overall, I don't have a lot of comments yet. I'm impressed that it's all stainless steel, but I want an all stainless steel one. Um, why? More durable um, over aluminum. And aluminum's got some myths or whatever i don't know if it's true or false about aluminum going out there um they all seem to function as a steamer i don't know if i care about the glass top yet but biggest selling points to me were stainless steel it was local I've had some experience with nora pro products and so what am i impressed with at this point it seems fairly heavy duty i mean it's not crazy but it welded handles uh, i'm really glad to see a tricod bottom and that kind of wraps this unboxing video up everyone so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing please share please like all those wonderful things on youtube and you noticed i got a t-shirt on so any of you that really want to support more of this stuff um please consider buying some mad mo t-shirt or swag um get a few more subscribers I might do some giveaways but and got t-shirt ideas let me know too give you a little back view so we got some advertisement advertisement for you and um we're gonna keep rolling so next video let's get this thing operating till next time